I mean, I think uh, it's neighbourhood policing and uh, having uh, a dedicated local presence that uh, is the best approach to tackling problems like that. Um, and that's why I'm going to be fighting very hard to protect that sort of policing. But it is going to be a real challenge. You know, we are, because of the 20% police cuts that I've mentioned, uh, we are suffering a, a pretty horrendous fall in police strength in this county. So, you know, that's going to be a real challenge. But I think that's the right approach. And I think that's the approach that people value. The, the, the line that everyone spouts is we want to see more police on the street. Is that possible to do with the cuts that are being made? Like I say, it's going to be very difficult. And, you know, I was very careful not to promise that I'm going to put more police on the street. I mean, I think it's not a very exciting promise, but the most, you know, what I'm going to be working for is to maximise the number of people that we have on the street. The, the, the Chief Constable, uh, if it comes to the crunch and he is uh, following a policy that you don't agree with, will do you have the power to sack him? It's something I've not talked about because I think if we ever get to the point of uh, any police commissioner um, sacking their chief constable, then I think essentially they've failed, mm. you know, because um, the whole point of the role is to build a good working relationship with the chief constable and to have a shared vision for the, the police service. So, you know, it's, I, I hope I never have to go there. And uh, uh, people, how will people be able to get get in contact with you and get their message across and, and, and tell you what they want? Well, I'm going to make myself as accessible as possible in terms of social media, in terms of going out and attending meetings. Um, and, you know, I'll continue knocking on people's doors and uh, talking to them about their priorities. On a human level, you've got this, this job, you've been campaigning for it for a while. Are you terrified? It's a, there's a lot of responsibility, <laughs> isn't there? Um, somewhat daunted, but, you know, I think if you look at my CV in terms of the political experience that I've had and the work with victim support, I don't think you could have had a better apprenticeship for this sort of role. So to that extent, you know, I think I'm up to it, but it's a serious responsibility and, yes, it's quite daunting. I'm sure it is. Well, listen, John Jones is here with us. He's a magistrate. He's vice chairman of the Bedford Bench. And, and John, you're going to, to swear Ollie in now. Yes, I am here, and th thank you for that introduction. And good morning, Mr. Martins. I'm being asked to administer the Declaration of Acceptance of Office. And so I'm going to ask you to repeat the following words back to me. If you would, please, I will take them in small chunks. So here we go. I, Oliver James Martins of Luton, Bedfordshire, I, Oliver James Martins of Luton, Bedfordshire, do hereby declare that I accept the office. Do hereby declare that I accept the office of Police and Crime Commissioner for Bedfordshire. Of Police and Crime Commissioner for Bedfordshire. In making this declaration, in making this declaration, I solemnly and sincerely promise. I solemnly and sincerely promise that during my term of office, that during my term of office. I will serve all the people of Bedfordshire. I will serve all the people of Bedfordshire in the office of police and crime commissioner. In the office of police and crime commissioner. I will act with integrity and diligence in my role. I will act with integrity and diligence in my role. And to the best of my ability. And to the best of my ability. Will execute the duties of my office. Will execute the duties of my office. To ensure that the police are able. To ensure that the police are able to cut crime and protect the public. To cut crime and protect the public. I will give a voice to the public. I will give a voice to the public. Especially victims of crime. Especially victims of crime. And work with other services. And work with other services. To ensure the safety of the community. To ensure the safety of the community. And effective criminal justice. And effective criminal justice. I will take all steps within my power. I will take all steps within my power to ensure transparency of my decisions to ensure transparency of my decisions so that I may be properly held to account by the public so that I may be properly held to account by the public I will not interfere with the operational independence of police officers I will not interfere with the operational independence of police officers Thank you Mr Martins if you'd like to sign 
the declaration then at the bottom. And I will count a sign. Say it you signed it in front of me. Fantastic. Let me shake your hand, sir. Well done. Congratulations. Thank you. John, thank you very much for that. That was a long one, wasn't it? Well done. <laughs> it's, 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 it's longer than getting married. Uh, Ollie, listen, congratulations. Thank you. Do you what, what should I call you? What's your, your proper title now? Oh, you just keep calling me Ollie. That's there fine. we go. That's, that's the way to be. Ollie, thank you very much for coming in.